Hello everyone, Martin here, back with a, another Legacy video. This is a bit of a bonus episode, so I had already recorded this week's, uh, this Friday's video yesterday when uh, I learned that we would have access to the Warhammer 40k cards that have been missing so far in Magic Online. And I decided I was going to jump in and do a quick video here because I've, I've been super excited to try out Triumph of St. Catherine. I've been super excited to see what it does for, for the legacy uh, format now that it's on Magic Online. I managed to get my, my hands on two copies. They're kind of expensive, and but two copies uh, were all I wanted to test in Doomsday sideboard anyway. And I have, just for the time being, I have slotted them in as a straight swap for uh, Shouldred. Because that is, I think, the, the slot they are going to be competing with. And it it's obviously remains to be seen. That's what I'm trying. I'm going to try and, and see here whether or not it, it is good enough in Doomsday. But I am really excited to play with this card. Um... I'm also really excited to play with this card, Under City Sewers. So for the time being, I actually added this as a 16th land. I debated whether or not f for it to replace an Underground Sea and, and go down to two Underground Sea, but that does seem a little bit suspect. I've tried this in one league, and that's the league you're going to be seeing on Friday of this week. Um, and I was very impressed. So I'm... And, and I think it's... that, And that wasn't in this version of Doomsday. That was in a a Turbo Doomsday list, which, uh, again, you can see on Friday. Um, and I'm thinking this is going to be even better in this type of Doomsday build. I decided to cut the what has been my f one flex slot, uh, which was a Thoughtseize up until now. Um, and before that, it was a Preordain. Before that, it was a Night's Whisper, and so on. So, yeah, let's, let's see how this plays out. And hopefully we'll get to board this in. I, I hope I don't only face side, like decks where it's not really uh, <laughs> where you want to be at. On the play for round number one, I'm excited to see if any of the uh, of the cards make their way into uh, like the Forehammer K into this league other than mine because um, this is like minutes after they became available that I'm recording this. I'm going to keep this hand uh, because of Lauren Revealed. Uh, we get to make out like we're a different deck. It kind of sucks we can't daze on turn one, but um, yeah, so be it. And if we get Wastelanded here, we can decide if we want to edge a bottom. Okay, looks like it's, uh, what? Human. Yikes. Doesn't seem particularly friendly here. What deck goes Cavern on Humans? A deck that wants to play Magas of the Moon, maybe? A deck that wants to play, um, like... Caves of Chaos Adventure. I'm getting the basic island in case it is Magus. My hand is sort of full of blue cards. I kind of want to be able to to get those going. Uh, don't think we want three lands. Let's shuffle. Draw Veil of Summer. Not a card I'm expecting to be particularly useful here. Um, a Magus of the Moon here would be very, very hard, I think, even with uh, this basic island to beat. Yeah, this is Boris Initiative, and now they can they can both uh, resolve like an uncounterable Archon or an uncounterable, uh, you know, something unpleasant. They're trying to resolve both. I, I don't think you can do that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can use cavern-specific cavern creature type specific mana for a non so maybe if it's a human archon uh yeah so it looks like they're it's all white so i'm guessing it's either um it's probably archon of a uh, of emiria here yep can't do anything about that and by the way this is not i don't think a matchup where uh, i'm expecting um What's her face? Uh, Triumph of Saint Catherine to play a part here. Um, I'm gonna brainstorm here. There are some cards I kind of want to swap out of my hand, like this Bale. Let me find a Doomsday. Uh, we can't shuffle now. We could. Yeah. So what we could do is we could um, cast Consider on their turn. 
Oh, no, I guess we can't because I forgot. I always forget that Archon does that. Um, yeah, this is going to be tough. Maybe if we can get to Teferi. Oh, and now I stack them wrong. Now I I either have to to draw the um the veil or I spend my spell next turn casting consider. Yeah, that was that's kind of gross. Okay, another archon, and they mistapped here, so I am gonna daze that. I'm gonna spend my island here. They could have a spirit guide and pay for this, but they wouldn't have had to if they had tapped correctly. So. If this gets paid by with a spirit guide, then yeah, I don't know. It didn't though, so okay. And I think I am gonna consider away this veil, and then I'm gonna draw the uh, I guess the edge of autumn. Oh no, I stacked them wrong. <laughs> well, guess I'm drawing the veil. Um, I still think it's correct to bin this and get a card deeper into the deck. Oh, oof, gross. Okay. So what do we do here? We can ponder. I think ponder is a good... Oh, no, we can't. We can't do anything because that's how Archon works. So now they can make Caves of Chaos Adventure and will be done in, in short order, I believe. Or even worse, Seasoned Dungeoneer. All right. I don't think there's a way we win this game, but I am going to... Just stick it out for a little bit longer. I'm going to cast Brainstorm, I believe, uh, to do something with my mana here. All right, let's, uh, let's cast Brainstorm. Um, so I, th I think we've lost, huh? But uh, we, we, I suppose we can play out for one more turn. I think the only way that we might stand a chance here would be if we get to the one ring but even if like getting to the one ring it's really really tricky because we would then untap and then like we would time walk them so to speak but then we would untap and then if we cast doomsday then we have to pass uh, because of the one spell per turn clause so Okay, I'm gonna cast the Ponder here. The Fairy or the One Ring are kind of what I'm looking for here. None of that. And I just shuffle and draw probably the least useful card in the deck. Um, gonna get a Scry here, this or a Surveil. This would enter tapped anyways. And there is uh, the One Ring, so let's put that on top. Okay, so now what? We cast the one ring next turn. So if somehow we can get to to fairy, maybe we don't just lose, but we probably lose. Like they're going to get to do stuff with this now, and they get to deal a lot of damage. But let's see. They probably go into the forge here, right? Just. Get the get the party started with with the clock here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So they're gonna attack, and then when this attacks, it's another plus one. So this is four, five when they attack, and then three more. That's eight. So I'm taking eight right now, I think. And then let's see, what else have they got? Fourth Aerolingas. Okay, so I'm not only taking eight, I'm taking six more, so that's 14. So... <sighs> yeah, I think I just lose then, right? Maybe they'll keep back a horse? Because if they attack with everything, I, I drop to two, and then the one ring, like if I draw a card, please keep back one. Oh no, they're not afraid. They ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, there's a pause here. What's the pause for? All right. Wait, did I miscount something? Reveal top card. Put that into your hand if it's a land. Otherwise, okay, so they actually didn't uh, put a plus one, plus one counter. So we do still have a theoretical chance here, but it's not looking 
that likely. I do get to cast Brainstorm now. Um, and then, like, to, to have another, another look at Teferi. That's not a Teferi. Um, so I think that's probably just it, right? Yeah. Because of the only cast one spell per turn clause, that is it, unfortunately. So we cast the ring. We draw underground sea that comes into play tap. We cast the ring, we draw. I suppose there is a world where we, where Teferi is the third card down. Um, so why don't we just try that at least? And that means the trap here is gonna fizzle because I can't be targeted. I will draw before the end of their turn. So I'll draw what is, I, I already forgot, but something useless. Um, and then I will untap and then draw the next card I know, and then I'll tap the ring. And if there is a Teferi underneath, then I can bounce the Archon and then I can um, Dark Ritual Doomsday cast Ponder, but I don't. Th I don't even think that's enough. Like it would have to be the two cards I draw would would have to be like Teferi and uh, I don't even know. Like maybe Brainstorm. They could also like. Uh, No, that's not how that works. Never mind. They're attacking. Not sure why. Oh, I guess it, it says attacks each combat. That's because they, uh, with with the initiative, sure, okay. If they have something here like a chalice, that's also just game. Yeah, all right. Okay, that was painful for all involved. Let's uh, see if we can do better. We didn't show them Doomsday, but we were playing. They they show they saw Consider and Edge of Autumn. There aren't really any other decks that play those cards. Um, okay, so maybe the Triumph. I mean, I'm obviously obviously also sort of kind of in excitement mode, and I want to try it. But I mean, it's not terrible, is it? It can steal the initiative, and it's sort of. I think it it's pretty hard for them to deal with it or race it but I could be wrong um, probably want Boseju maybe a plow that's like 8 cards um, let's see if we have 8 things we want to remove we certainly can do without the Veil of Summer um, counter spells aren't really that exciting so maybe even the the forces of negation aren't that exciting um, Teferi is also just a little bit, like, I would probably rather have a source to plowshares than Teferi most of the time. Is there anything obvious I'm missing here? I think the rest of this is pretty solid, and pretty solidly things we want. Um, is it the second force? of negation that we board out. Oh wait, I'm missing, I have to board out something else as well. Hmm. One more card, what is it? Yeah, I guess it's the Teferi. All right, maybe, ah, oh, Teferi. I do feel kind of naked without any Teferi in the deck. Um, womp womp. Well, it could be good if we draw a, if we were to draw like a, um, a brainstorm. So I'm gonna keep this for science. And I think I'm gonna cast, probably consider end of turn. I'm sorry, my neighbor is using a power drill right now, which is pretty annoying. Yeah, I might also just use the Undercity Sewers here, but then again, no, because I, I, pro I want white mana. And that name's Archon. And there's a Chrome Mox. And they have the Spirit Guide. Oh, they have a Chalice, okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a Tundra here. 
I'm going to float blue mana, and then I'm going to daze this. It sucks pretty bad to get set back on, on the land here. And if they have a spirit guide, then it's at times. Um, but I think this is worth the, like, worth the fight. Okay, they didn't have spirit guide. Okay, I'm going to consider... Uh, probably I'll bottom this, or put it into the, the graveyard. I'll draw another land. Okay, and they named Archon with this, so that makes me think they have an Archon. It also makes me think I want to play the Tundra, because once the Archon is in play, the Tundra is going to enter uh, the battlefield tapped. Another ring. Not too exciting here. I would love a Brainstorm, to be honest. They're paying costs. Archon creature spells. What could it be? Okay, there's an Archon of Emeria, and I'm going to plow it on their end of turn. But now they have their mana set up, and I kind of am running out of answers. Dark Ritual would be kind of sweet here. Hey! All right. I feel like that always happens for Brian, for Bosch and Roll, and it never happens for me. But now it happened for me. Just speak the card you want into existence. Okay, let's draw a card. It's a daze. Not ideal, but not terrible. Uh, they don't have Cavern on Human right now. They have like Caves of Chaos, Dude, or Seasoned Engineer. We we get uh, daze here. Oh, but they have an, a red Archon spell? Hmm, probably not. If this is Magus of the Moon, I'm going to be sad. Okay, it is Caves of your face, or whatever. Um, I'm going to daze this. They didn't have the spirit guide before, so I'm hoping they didn't draw one. I'm just getting max value off these dazes. Um, all right, take some damage. And let's draw some cards. Ugh, come on. Well, I mean, we we're sort of closing in on just hard cast triumph here. I guess I'll play out these these petals. Um, and I'll pass. And I can surveil next, or on, on the end of my opponent's turn, so that's kind of nice. Another cavern, huh? And that says human, so now the, the thing is real. Wouldn't mind terribly drawing, like, one of my dismembers now. But now they have the initiative. All right, so their hand is Mountain plus a card we don't know. Okay, let's get that Surveil action going on. I think we put Ponder into the graveyard. We're sort of sort of looking for specific things, and mana might be on, you know, of a bit of a premium here. Lorien revealed. So I think I just draw three here. There's Doomsday. Okay, so I think we just... We, we resolve Doomsday now, and then... Or rather, we resolve the One Ring now, is what I wanted to say. Yeah, resolve the One Ring. Hope not to get magi of the Mueno. Um, I'm going to keep the one with three counters on it, but I get the, the protection trigger here. Keep that one, please. And then, uh, yeah, let's pass. Yeah, Magus of the Moon... Does it here? Chalice on three does it here? That would be kind of unexpected. So they go into the forge, even though I have protection. That's reasonable, I guess. There's the basic mountain. They're paying costs for something here. Archon would also be kind of annoying. Another thing. That's fine. So they go into the... Arena, I guess. I don't know. And when this attacked, so they still get the trigger. All right, so they they did the the thing, the uh, the goad. What is it? The arena. And now they get. I, well, I need to read this. I never read cards uh, that I don't play with. Reveal the top card of your library. Put that card into your hand if it's a land. Okay. So they can't like draw a chalice or draw or, or whatever. They draw a City of Traitors, and what was the other thing? Uh, that was just one thing. 
Okay, so hopefully we just we get to win now. Um, so let's cast this Doomsday, and we draw Force of Will, Force of Will, uh, Thassa, Edge of Autumn, and then we can make the last Triumph the bottom card so they don't know about it. It's uh, not that I think it makes a big difference. We have mana to, to cast this. Okay, that seems good. All right, Triumph on the bottom, then the Edge, then the Forces, and the Thassa. We're at six. We have double force. And there's not a way like Surgical Extraction can get us here because we're drawing four. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, do we change anything for the sideboard here? Would kind of like to, to get access to a, a to fairy. And the days has really paid off here, but I'm not sure they, um, that's going to be the case always, and, and certainly not on the on the draw. The plow was also pretty clutch, um, but now we have a Teferi as like an extra an extra thing here. I'm, I think I'm going to just roll with this. All right, this is if they have Mags of the Moon, this hand is just terrible. But I think I'm going to keep it. We can. Cast Edge of Autumn on turn two, like fetch, like Bayou fetch for, or Misty fetch for Bayou. All right, they play Ancient Tomb and pass here. So I think that means we have to pay, play Tundra here in case they go Mags of the Moon turn two, or even Archon. Um, but especially Magus, obviously. Okay, there's a Caracas. Ay, Caracas. Two mana is being... Oh, this looks like Chal's mana. Hmm. All right, I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. Though I'm not sure what I'm hoping to hit here. Huh. Okay, Chal's is in. That's uh, another one CMC spell, but at least it's a Brainstorm, so we like it's a blue card for the Force. So I'm getting the Bayou here. I'm casting Edge of Autumn to put my island tapped into play and be able to cast the One Ring next turn. So we have two... Uh, ways to get rid of that chalice. One is the Poseju, and the other one is the one, um, the one uh, Teferi we boarded in. Still no cavern here, which I'm loving with this Force of Will. Oh, they're pitching a Spirit Guide. What's this? Yeah, I think I'm gonna. It's, that's gonna be a hard pass on that one. Frindo, second main. Okay. Dark Ritual, lovely. Um, but we do get to cast the One Ring now, which is fun. And I'm just gonna do a little taparoo here. This member, oh, I like that. That's protection against, like, the first thing they, they cast here. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about fourth Aerolingas, but they're, they're not, they don't have any red mana. All right, they're passing. Love that. I take one from the ring. I draw Dark Ritual. Terrible. <laughs> um okay so now we get to do the the surveil again which is nice but we are sort of effectively sitting on four cards here oh sorry two cards here like four of our cards suck oh no what's this one of those uh, uh that that thing that can fit like blink enchantments or exile them and artifacts well what is this end of my turn oh it's a solitude Okay, I kind of don't like wasting, quote-unquote, a dismember on that, but on the other hand, to not be taking damage, and I also like their life total is this as a thing here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm gonna get the Undercity Sewers here in Surreal, see if that maybe changes my mind. Ooh, St. Catherine, how about that? Uh, I'm going to kindly put that on top of my deck, please. Um... So, maybe I just save the dismember? Is that crazy? I don't think it is. Like, the life total is going to swing in my favor pretty dramatically with, with Triumph here. 
Okay, I'm at nine. Okay, I'm gonna reveal. Okay, cast this. Okay, white and colorless. Okay, I'm gonna draw three. Oh, Teferi is good, huh? Um, so with Teferi, we can we can bounce. Teferi, we can bounce the Chalice. But I'm not going to do that quite yet. Uh, I think I am just going to pass here, keep open the Dismember mana. I'll put a Dark Ritual into the Graveyard, that's fine. I'm, I'm worried about them being able to remove my Triumph. I didn't show them any creatures in games one or two, so I don't think there's that much of a chance. Oh, and they're just just passing here. Love that. So I take three, I'm down to six. I think the, my first order of business here is going to play this, is going to be to play this to fairy. Let's do this. Oh, and that just resolved. I'll tell you what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna bounce the chalice. I'm gonna plow your thing. I'm gonna attack. And I probably am in the market for like a force of will now. So I'm gonna ponder before activating my ring, I think. Yeah, don't need those. Um, probably I activate ring on their turn. Just to not have to move to discard. That's a lot of good cards. They likely reach Alice here, but that's uh that's fine. Yeah, they concede. How about that? On the play once again for round number two. Um yeah, let's uh let's a go. So I think I'm gonna just go Misty Rainforest here and pass. And then I will end of turn I will uh fetch under city sewers get my surveil and then we'll see if we get to put doomsday on the stack we might also like get pit like uh like scammed here in which case it's sad but that doesn't appear to be what's happening savannah and noble hierarch so i'm not really sure this is not guaranteed to not be a force of will deck but i don't know like cradle control maybe i don't know Okay, let's surveil. Don't think we want the second petal. Oh, Teferi. You know what? I like Teferi quite a bit here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to blow the petal on a Teferi here. And then, like, I think best case scenario, we sort of just time walk them and, oops, and win pretty easily next turn, or at least resolve Doomsday. Worst case scenario, we still time walk them, but then they like Orcish Bowmaster the Teferi away, and we're sad. But then we can uh, actually never mind. We can just daze that. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much love everything about this. I think. Oh, there's a dark ritual. Yeah, Hamana, Hamana. Uh, another high or the Hierarch once more. Trump. Okay, so it is a blue deck, and it is a oh a listener elf. So we can potentially just die next turn. Love to get something that draws a card here. And we just get it. Who was ever in doubt? Okay. Do the standard, the most standard of standard doomsday piles here. But this is Infect, huh? Bant Infect. Um, okay, so we have Thassa. We have two Cyclers. We have an LED. So we have two Cyclers, Thassa, LED, Consider... And we are just happy as a clam underneath the warm protection of Teferi. So we brainstorm, put back Doomsday as the blank, and then consider play LED. So in case you're new to Doomsday, this is sort of the current standard pile where you win on the same turn with brainstorm in hand and a blue mana and a spare card in hand, I mean. Put that into the graveyard, get the cycler, cycle into Thassa. 
There we go. Okay. So this, I don't think, is a matchup where I want Triumph. But removal is very good here, obviously. So, like, Bowmasters, I like. All the Plows, I like. All the Dismembers, I kind of like. Uh, Force of Negation... I mean, it's not irrelevant, right? But this is a lot to bring in. So what would be sort of easy-ish cuts? I think the, the going fast unprotected plan with LED and consider can go. I think therefore also at least some of the cyclers, if not all the cyclers can go. Um, at this point, we are sort of morphing into a control deck, which makes me again, like at least want to reconsider if, if like we want Triumph as sort of a finisher, and maybe even even start boarding out on Doomsday, because um, we are at a point where we'll we'll be Doomsdaying and passing most likely, unless we have one ring and with lots of counters on it. We can cut a couple of the petals. Um, Teferi is medium. It was obviously amazing here, but it's also just one of those things where. Like, if they have two or three creatures, then it's it's not so good. Um, I don't know. Uh, is there any other sort of... I don't know, what if we cut the, cut the petal, cut one to fairy? Or maybe even two to fairy? And add a carpet and one triumph? I guess now that we're boarding down on Doomsdays, we should probably have all the triumphs so maybe we we don't want force of negation and we want two safari and one triumph yeah how about that yeah i think this is what we're gonna go with what a wild world huh okay so opponent is on six i'm gonna keep this very fine and serviceable hand all right opponent found six they liked and another Noble Hierarch. This time they represent Days. Um, but we can... Now we found a Days. That's nice. We can just go ahead and cast stuff here. Like, no Infect Creature on turn 1 means we can never die on turn 2. Oh, this is good, huh? I think I'm gonna just put Bowmasters in my hand here and then draw the Force. And then we can see if we want to keep open Bowmasters next turn or... If we want to, like, cast Ponder. Oh, they have Wasteland. Yikes. That is bad for us. Because now we're obviously, like, I think I've forced this. And if they daze, so help me, I'll scream. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be unreasonable for them to have daze or... Oh, Veil? That's even worse! Okay. Yeah. Oh, they got me good here. And now we're drawing we're drawing force, which is not the the end of the world here, but we're drawing doomsday after that. Damn, wasteland got me good. If they have second wasteland, then it's just game over. Alright, two infect. Another glistener elf. So now like the bowmasters doesn't even like cleanly like ease the pressure here. I bowmasters will still be good because we get to like kill one and then trade with the other but um so far we're oh, some ways away from that <clears throat> and they are sitting on four cards which is kind of scary land yay okay <clears throat> so i'm going to i think cast bowmasters with the Exalted Trigger on the stack, probably. Oh, okay. So this is how they want to go down. So they, they're they surgicaling my Force of Will. And... <clears throat> I suppose... I think I actually... Maybe I kill the Noble Hierarch? They're, they're kind of low on mana. And killing one Glistener Elf is not going to do it. They'll just like attack with the other one. I would have to put both Bowmaster and and the Orc army in front of it. 
which may still be correct. I don't know. Then they they cast whatever. Uh, yeah, I think I um, I killed the noble hierarch here. Maybe I'm like overthinking things. They can veil in response, but then I can force the veil. So this gains hexproof. That's really nice for them. And um, <laughs> it deals its it's uh, equal to its power, so it can't really deal any damage. But I don't get a uh, an orc army thing. So I think we probably lose out. They if they have enough things to pump here, they get to take my force of will. I don't think there's any point in like casting the force. So we have days as our only line of defense here, and a lowly orc token, and they got to see our whole deck, which sucks. Yeah, I have to uh, bear this card in mind with all my all my removal spells. So. I should probably know this, but I don't. When it says it deals damage equals to its power to up to one star creature, is that in in infect counters? I guess it probably doesn't matter that much. Why are you attacking with this? What am I missing? Okay, maybe they just misclicked. All right. Um. So if I block, I basically just lose my orc and have nothing but if i don't i have four counters on me they just need one pump spell so i think i actually have to block here now they need both pump spell and berserk but this is a terrible obviously situation for our hero here okay tapping green mana oh they're I don't understand what just happened. Oh, it's just made mana. Yeah, that's fine. That's carpet. That's good for them. Okay. The one ring. Kind of exciting, but I am very scared of what's going on over there. It's going to start with a brainstorm. Um, it's a fluster storm, huh? I think I'm just going to pay for that. If their last card is days... I'm gonna be sad. Um, so <clears throat> I think we put back. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Kind of want everything here. I think we put back um, the veil. As much as that pains me, and I'm gonna get. Underground Sea here and cast Ponder. If I can find like a carpet or a dark ritual, <clears throat> then there is a, there's maybe a world. I guess this is actually, these cards are kind of cool. This is all contingent on me living another, another turn here. Um... I'm somewhat expecting, or at least fearing, that the last card in hand is like Invigorate or uh, Vines of the Vast Wood. If it's Surgical Extraction, then I drew the Dismember and not the, the Bowmasters here. Okay, they chose not to spend mana. Do you have it? <clears throat> Uh-oh, there's a pause. There's a... Yep, and they have it. Okay, so this is a 6-6, six, six, and I'm dead. Womp womp. All right. Um, yeah, I got, got majorly blown out by that veil. I think I still like the overall sort of approach here. Maybe a force of negation isn't the worst. Maybe in lieu of, like, one triumph here. Let's choose to be on the play, and... Eh. Triumph with Brainstorm. That could be worse, I guess. Let's... We also got, like, just savaged by that Wasteland, huh? Yep. Noble Hierarch. Alright. Just gonna take my draw here. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna fetch Tundra here. And I am going to... Probably cast the Brainstorm. 
Yeah. Oof. This is not amazing because we lose to a wasteland here on the triumph. But on at the same time, yeah, maybe it's not the worst. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's put back triumph on top here, and we will try and uh, make a five-five life linker, which would just really like to not get wastelanded here. If I'm being honest, maybe this is just dumb, and I'm supposed to like be more patient with this triumph. There's a Doomsday underneath the Triumph, so that is sort of like a backup win condition here. And Teferi also also plays. Choose not to shuffle. Oh, they have the Wasteland! Get the fuck out of here with your Wasteland. So, um, my neighbor's using of the power drill had me sort of clicking on and off with the record, and I accidentally missed recording about 10 minutes of this match. So I'm just going to do the replay here for you real quick, and before you know it, we'll be back to the quote-unquote live recording. So my opponent wasteland me, I cycle uh, Lauren Revealed. I get a tropical island here. And let's see, we draw the Doomsday, so that might be interesting at some point. Second Lord Revealed, which is kind of interesting here, and something I kind of like, and I, I don't think I would hate getting the, the Veil of Summer underneath it. Opponent thankfully doesn't have a second Wasteland. I don't know how many Wastelands in fact play, but probably like one or two, I would guess. And they have Lighted Agent. So now the, the beats are on, so to speak. And I choose, I think to, s okay, no, I choose to take the the Veil here, and cast Brainstorm. We draw Bayou, which I think is kind of neat. That means with Elorian, we're, we're sort of close-ish to having Doomsday mana. And I guess we play the Bayou here and pass. So we have Veil plus a Force to stop them from like winning with, with a pump spell. Do you have five cards in hand, which is pretty scary, and they just dropped a Pendlehaven. So now they're like beating for three a turn with Exalted and Pendlehaven. So not even like a lot of need for the pump. We lure and reveal, and we get uh, an Underground Sea here. No, sorry, we get a Tundra. Wow. I guess I don't have, at this point, very high hopes for the Doomsday, and I want to be able to get like. Uh, to ferry and also maybe if I draw a plow or something. Um, so we get a draw a dark ritual, which is really really interesting. And we could just to ferry. Uh, they force, and now I have to choose between: do I force back, running risking running into veil of summer, which I guess like I could then veil in response, but then at least uh, no, uh, they're they're drawing a card, which is kind of bad. Um, but my Teferi will resolve. If I if I Veil first and they have Flusterstorm, then it's like pretty bad. Um, but I decide to force. Decide to bet against them having uh, like uh, Fluster. And then Teferi is just in here. And I immediately bounce the Blighted Agent, and, and I remember immediately thinking, no, wait, I could just Dark Ritual Doomsday, and then, like, plus Teferi to draw something. But um, I guess that something would have to be, I don't know, like, Dismember or something, because I don't think... Um, I think this is fine. What this means is Teferi's gonna die from the Noble Hierarch, but they can't kill me next turn. And bouncing with Teferi draws me Force of Will. And so I get to just cast Doomsday right now unimpeded. And then it's all about like making the pile. Which I do, and I can't remember exactly how I make it, but we will see. Uh, oh yeah, I make it with the One Ring and a Dark Ritual, I think. Is that it? No. I guess it is. Oops, and that just skipped through there. Okay. 
So they kill Teferi here. I can't really stop that. Oh yeah, I remember now. I made a pile with like Brainstorm, Dark Ritual, Teferi. Uh, sorry, Brainstorm, Dark Ritual, um, the One Ring, and Thassa. I, I, I think it actually was a pretty cool pile. So yeah, now I remember the pile. Um, so the top of the deck is Brainstorm. The second is um, the One Ring, Dark Ritual, and Thassa. And then the bottom card is Cavern. So they replay the Blighted Agent, but this way I get to like brainstorm, resolve, uh, resolve the One Ring with Veil Backup. Everything here is with Veil Backup. The One Ring means I can't die next turn to Infect. Um, and then they didn't, they don't fight over it, so I have the Veil, which means I can then also like resolve Thassa on the last turn with like with Veil backup, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I really like the One Ring in this deck, I have to say. The One Ring is in, we draw a card, it's the Thassa. We can't like draw again with the Ring because we're gonna like run out of cards and deck ourselves, but with the Veil in hand, it's pretty sweet. And this is where I, the video picks up again. So see you in, in, in real time. Let's just pass our, it's their turn. They get to attack. Doesn't really matter. I have protection. And let's see if we can do this. We don't get to, we draw the force here. And the cavern is the last card. So now the only question is, do we, is there any point in, okay, what's this? They're doing something here. Three mana, three green mana. Endurance. Okay. 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 Um, mm, that's cool. So endurance comes into play. Can't stop that. It targets me. And then I get to draw the force of will or rather, rather the cavern here. And oh, they have more. What's this? Two green mana. They have Boseju, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what else this is. Boseju on that. Um, I don't mind shuffling here, to be honest, because I don't think like I would. I would much rather draw the Teferi. Um, I draw the Force. Let's draw two cards. Um, okay, I just win, anyways. Never mattered gonna brainstorm here I'll get to two cards in the deck and I'll have force force and veil backup and again my yet again my super annoying neighbor is using power drill at 8 30 at night okay never mind um let's choose merfolk and hey presto sweet two and oh some grindy cool games off to round number three. Okay, on the draw for number three, I get this hand with the sewers in it, which is obviously, you'd rather have this be a fetch land. I do think I'm gonna keep though, and see where where this takes us. Guild Burton Catacombs. Into what? Into Badlands, so prob, okay, yeah. Probably uh, the thing here. Uh, black red reanimator don't see that too often uh these days I, I don't think but i think most of the time when i see grief and stuff oh they whiff they don't find a creature so lucky for us um and we find force that's pretty sweet i'm gonna actually bite the bullet on this and get the surveil put dark ritual into my graveyard this is obviously kind of a painful days if I have to, but um, at least we'll get another surveil, so could be worse things. If they flashback the looting here, I think I actually am prized into dazing. What's this? Oh, they're playing around the days. Tell you what, I think I had to force of will this. They'll be happy they saw I had a daze. They played around it. <laughs> Third days, yikes. All right, we will, um, we're not too far off, like, 
just casting Lauren Revealed off of this Dark Ritual, but I don't know. So they've been in Exhum, so they, I think, pretty clearly have... Um, okay, we, we can we can do the, do the thing now, which I am going to do. They can pretty clearly, like, they have another animation spell, so they are just missing the, the A part of their combo. I mean, not going to complain about that, huh? Would like for them not to do anything this turn, and then I think we're in the clear. No! Thoughtseize. Yikes. Okay, well, there goes the Doomsday. We'll have to settle for Teferi. Uh, consider is, is pretty nice. I think I just plus Teferi for the time being. That way we can bounce, I don't know, like an Archon or something if they were to find one. And that also means, like, if we if consider finds this Doomsday, we can just, like, Doomsday and then plus Teferi to draw. There is looting. Uh, I'm gonna... I am gonna consider in response. Thassa. Thassa can go into the graveyard. We find Doomsday, huh? Uh, well, we can double days. That's all we can do. They have a lot of mana, though. But they don't find a creature still. Oh, that's so sick. Wow, that and also lucky for us they didn't find like another uh discard spell. They can they could flash back the looting here if they wanted to. Um yeah, I think it's just go time, right? Well, we got lucky that our combo opponent just didn't draw anything. Um they're they just spun their wheels for like uh five turns. <laughs> um okay, so just some cyclers, whatever. I guess we will hide a veil. So we will put the veil on the bottom and then Thassa, and then we'll just cycle through. We'll draw uh, Edge of Autumn with the Teferi Bounce. Be sure here not to make the mistake of like targeting their Lotus Petal, because if you do, they can just tap it, sack it for mana, then the Teferi ability fizzles. So. Better to target nothing if there is no important reason to target your opponent's stuff here. Alrighty. They would need to have like a channel effect here of some kind. Okay, they don't. Cool beans. Okay, so for the sideboard, we certainly want Force of Negation. And is there anything else? I don't hate plows here. Because, um, like, they aren't that kind of deck anymore where it's always Gristlebrand. Now it's also sometimes Archon. Three Plows might be pushing it, though. I don't want Orcish Bowmasters because if they... It's too easy for them to, like, grief me, take my Bowmasters, and then reanimate it. Triumph also seems a little bit not where we want to be at. So maybe these four cards... Veil is great. Like, pretty much everything in our deck is pretty sweet uh, versus this deck. Like, I don't want to go slower. They don't typically play, like, Red Blasts or, or whatever. They Sometimes they play Magas of the Moon, so maybe actually a Dismember over one of the Plows. But then again, Plow... No, I guess... I guess I'll, I'll take this split. I'll probably cut, like, at least one Teferi. I'll maybe... The One Ring is actually also a way that, that we sometimes win in this matchup where, like, you resolve the One Ring, then it doesn't really matter how much they combo you on the next turn because you're you're protected, and then you untap and you win. Sort of, you know, ideally. I think we can cut a Lorien. They aren't messing with our lands. Um, maybe one of the Cyclers. And maybe one Petal. So I'm, I'm cutting a little bit on the speed. Yeah gonna try this this hand doesn't interact with our opponent but it kind of starts putting scary things on the stack on turn three not sure though this does feel quite risky but we are like we have six forces so like mullen mulliganing just to get a force it's not gonna be unreasonable but it all it is like one force if the rest of the hand isn't good is, is not good enough i don't think an opponent keeps seven I will keep this. 
I will keep this. Oh, white mana, so they probably are like they might have chants or silences. Could also just mean they have like their answers to ley lines and stuff is serenity. Okay, they grief pitch gristle brand. I'm just gonna yield until end of turn here. Wonder what you take if you're them. It would seem it would be the doomsday or the okay. So they're like maybe hoping that I don't draw force of will and then they just get to win. White mana. Black mana. Okay, so they have Entomb. Yikes. So I guess, like, uh, Days maybe becomes my best draw here. Edge of Autumn. Um, I think I played the Misty Rainforest here. Uh, I do expect just to lose now. If they get Gristlebrand, they don't. Oh, wow. Really? That's insane, so I get to cast Doomsday. And with Force, like I can put a Force of Will on top. I mean... I'm not going to say none of that. They might have... Um, like a chant, and maybe that's sort of what they're hoping for. Maybe they'll like chant in response to this Veil. Okay, that, that didn't happen. Okay, so I'll put Force of Will on top. And then underneath the Force of Flow, I'm going to put Street Wraith. And underneath that, I'm going to put Thassa. And I guess, like, Petal Island, in case they somehow manage to sneak a Magus of the Moon into play. Okay, so if nothing happens next turn, I just untap, draw my Force of Will, cycle Edge into Street Wraith, cycle Street Wraith into Thassa, and put that on the stack. If they do something on their turn, I can do the Force of Will thing and then just still do this thing when I... All right, so we put Island and Petal on the bottom, I guess, is the play. And then uh, Thassa, Street Wraith, Force. Let's -a go. Okay, they found their second land. Have to imagine they cast something that brings back Gristlebrand. Yeah, we of course cannot allow that to happen. Force of will, and they concede. Wow, bang, three and oh. How do you like that? Off to round number four. On the draw for round number four with a turn two, the one ring with days backup. I think I'm gonna, gonna happily keep this hand. We'll see what becomes of it. All right, opponent is on a mold of six. I will keep. Opponent found six they like. Great Furnace. Okay, so probably Painter. Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does this mean for our, our predicament here? So obviously there is a world where we go just Dark Ritual Doomsday right now. Um, it would have to involve us fetching the polluted delta away, I think. And then what happens? Then um, we could just like get another dark ritual as the top card of the pile and cast the one ring, but that means another turn. Yeah, I don't know if I like that that much so they don't play they play like two uh two grindstones i think so the chances of them just having it and not playing it then on turn one i think is not that high um but like if we want to win with doomsday we have to put like a, we have to put thassa through a, a cavern i think because of all their blasts so I I think the the correct play here, honestly, is to cast Doomsday. All right, I'm gonna get Underground Sea, Dark Ritual, and cast Doomsday. All right, so we want a Cavern of Souls and Thassa. I don't think they'll they're gonna be having like Mags of the Moon in the main deck, if at all. Um, some Cyclers. So if they have access to grindstone next turn like on the turn i'm giving them now then i think we 
Well, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put Cavern as the bottom card, and then Thassa, so we can choose to just go for it on our next turn if we feel pressured into the, to doing that, and we'll just have like one card left in the deck. Um, stack them like this. I don't think that's unreasonable, actually, because we have the days as well. Like, if they if they tap out here, I think I might just go for it. Okay, but they don't. They just concede. I do believe pretty firmly that this is Painter. Because I don't think there's another deck that plays a Great Furnace. If there is, it's it's like an off-the-beaten-path kind of... Uh, what What's his name? Oswald Spittle Fiddle Bitter. The, the white... It's like white white-red artifact deck so versus painter i really like going heavy on control because i think like trying to win with the card doomsday is, is pretty sus so i want all of these cards i think and um let's see veil of summer is not bad if they name if they like uh name blue I am going to cut the fast route to, to the win here. Uh, I'm going to cut the Cyclers. And maybe I actually am going to cut all of Doomsday. How about that? Controversial. Uh, what's the final cut? Maybe like a Petal then. The fast mana is still good, I think, for like the One Ring. Maybe we want, we're going to cut two petals, so have no petals, and we'll have one Doomsday, one Thassa. How about that? Yeah, this hand works. I think this hand wants to, opponent mulligans to six. I think this hand wants to go Delta, and then end of turn, Lord and Revealed for, like, fetch uh, C, Lord and Revealed for Tundra, I think. All right, once again, they found six they liked. There's a Mox Opal. Oh, Thorn of Amethyst, right on. Well, that's a, a bit of an annoying card to play against, but we have a creature at least, so there's that. So they're on, on three cards right now, and their Mox Opal doesn't work for the time being. Hitting Needle, huh? Okay. Well, I'm not going to let them get me with this, so I am going to also cycle the Lorne Revealed. I don't think they would name Lauren revealed, but since I'm going to be doing this anyways, I don't think it matters. Tundra. If they name Teferi here, it's a little bit annoying. If they name one of my cyclers, well, those aren't in the deck anymore. They do name Teferi. Wow. That's cold. Um, so I think I am going to ponder here, even though it costs me two. But just to... Um, like, I, I really want to keep hitting my, my lands, so I think that's important. They have red mana now, but they can't blast under the, the thing. Okay, second Tundra and second Plow, maybe. I, I want, I'm going to get all these cards, I think. I'll, t I'll grab the second Tundra at least. Probably eventually we want to get rid of the, uh, the Teferi here. So the Plow is going to, one of the Plows is going to take care of that. Phyrexian Devour. Oh, it's it's this kind of deck, so it's not Painter at all. I don't... I'm not up to speed with current Phyrexian Devour sort of strategies, so I don't know what the payoff is here, or the enabler, but um, this is a combo of, like, a very old combo card. Um, so I think this needs to be in the graveyard, right? Um... And then you, you get something into play that has all of Devourer's abilities. At which point, I think I'm, I'm just dead. I don't think I can interact with this. Like, because whatever comes in, in response, it's probably like, uh, maybe it's something that gives all your creatures all abilities in the graveyard or whatever. And so, like, they get a walking ballista that can exile cards from the top of their deck to plus put plus one, plus one counters on it, and then shoot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to... Uh, I think I'm going to plow this, because I'm, I'm just a bit unsure, and once they untap with it, we're sort of at their mercy. 
But um, yeah, not really sure uh, what to do here. They cast Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Okay. So uh, they have a 2 2 double striker. Now I draw Ponder. I um, think I Ponder here. Now I am a little bit worried. I think we take the Misty. The second Bowmasters is not terrible, um, but we we may end up using, like having to crack this fetch. And now I think like my Veil of Summers can come out. I don't think this is a Painter deck anymore. <laughs> it could still be, that just has this quirky weirdo combo. But yeah, I think if this isn't Painter, then I think I've sideboarded pretty incorrectly. Like, I don't think I want to be the control deck then. I, I just also want to be a fast combo deck. I'll take four here. I think that's okay. Okay, what's this? Another Engineer. And this is, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, I can't counter this. Let's see what they get. They get a Trinisphere, okay. I think in that case, I am gonna get by you here and just plow the engineer. Okay, the one ring would be nice. Brainstorm, I will take. Uh, let's go like this. <laughs> well, how about more Teferi, huh? Uh, sucks. Sucks to suck. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just pass here. Kind of upset I haven't found a, a target for the Bowmasters. And the double strike on the Dread, uh, Dread Engine, or whatever it's called, Dragon Engine, is just pretty, pretty rough. I think I am going to take one more hit here. Because if they have like something like a, a, a goblin welder post combat, I would much rather be able to like I would trade the four life to be able to kill that with my bowmasters rather than just get the get the, the orc army to chump block here. Spirit. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, can't really do anything about that. Okay, let's try this again. Brainstorm. Well, the one ring, which we can power out now. But we are sort of drawing some bad cards. We probably still want to do it, though. It's going to cost us both of our rituals, but I mean... So, we draw first to fairy. Kind of hoping they don't put anything scary on the stack, or if they do, it, that it costs four mana. Oh, we can't daze under the thorn anyway. Never mind. I guess that Trinisphere wouldn't even have been that frightening, huh? All right, looks like they are just passing here. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so we take one, draw the stupid Teferi. We draw two fresh cards here. Veil of Summer. Get out of here. All right, going to try with a, another Brainstorm. Double Bowmasters, I can work with that. Let's try this. Would have loved to have found the um, the Boseju to kill like uh, to kill the Pithy Needle to get Teferi into play to bounce my ring, blah blah blah. But I guess like if I, oh yeah, if they, oh there's a Saga. Yikes, that's a problem. Wonder if I can find my one of Doomsday Bombardiers. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, now I think I, I have to kill the Bombardiers. So I'm going to do that. I have to do it now before they move into combat, I think. This doesn't have ward, does it? Oops. It fucking has everything, right? It has menace and haste. Wow, this is a... This deck is kind of all over the place. All right, so if they attack here, which I assume they will, with both their creatures, 
I'm gonna put one bowmaster in front of the orc of the the dragon engine, and then I'm gonna trade the uh, the orc army with the the spirit guide. Okay, so they just just attack with that guy. We take two. We're at six. Getting kind of close to where it's not fun anymore. I guess I'll I'll draw five cards here, and then like discard a whole bunch. This is like basically a giant looting, unless they have red blast, of course. Okay, and I just draw gar hot garbage here. Um, I could I should have probably played the delta so I could have fetched the the sewers. Um, yeah, let's pass. And let's get rid of these veils of summer, shamefully discarding these useless cards. Ugh. Well, I mean, I would kind of like to see this the saga pop to see if they actually get grindstone. Okay, this is it. This is what does the thing with the direction devourer, right? Creatures you control with a plus one plus one counter on them have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Exile a card in your graveyard. When you exile a creature card this way, put a one. Okay, so they get this into play. They put the the exile, um, the d devourer, which puts a plus one plus one counter on whatever one of their creatures, and then that creature has the activated ability of friction devour devourer. So they get to like cast like ma make their exile every card but one in their deck and make their devourer or dragon engine. Sorry, I keep saying devourer. Uh, like a million million, but um, I think that's gonna be it's gonna be a pass for me. Do you have the red blast? Is my question. I guess if they have the red blast or whatever, if this comes into play, I don't think they win like right away. Looks like they might have the red blast. Yeah, uh, and I can't daze because of thorn. So what this just does is, is it makes their one of their creatures like really really big, but I don't think it gives them trample or anything. Maybe I misunderstood how this works. Aren't they just supposed to do it right now? Um, I guess I will block one each here. I think if I don't block, then they just do it. So they can do it at, at instant speed. Oh, they boast. They, they Of course they get that. Lovely. And so they can shoot me for, or shoot me. Yeah. All right, right, right. I gotcha. Cool deck. Okay, lots of pyroblasts, so still maybe a painter deck, who knows? Agatha Soul Cauldron. Okay, but I need to I think I need to rethink my entire sort of strategy here. I think probably it's still correct not to be LED considering. But I think we want the rest of this. And I don't think we want Orcish Bowmasters. I don't think we want Veil of Summer. I mean, if it's painter then it that would still be kinda good. We don't want the triumphs. I don't hate having some number of plow and dismember just for Magus of the Moons types type things. I would kind of like Force of Negation, I think, for like they are a, a Trinisphere deck. Uh I don't think Teferi is that great here. Uh so maybe we cut like one uh one cycler, yeah. I think that's okay. All right. I'd much rather be a sort of Dark Ritual, Doomsday or Dark Ritual, the One Ring deck right now than, than like a Triumph Plow deck. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's a little bit slow. I like that we get to do the thing. Uh, the, the Undercity Sewers, I think, probably, unless we want to day something. But Days is just always going to be a risky play versus the Spirit Guide deck. I'm gonna play the Delta. It's very small margins here, but I don't want to like play Delta and then have them randomly play a Pithy Needle on <laughs> on Misty Rainforest. I don't think they would, but P there is the Pithy Needle. How about that? Well, they might name the One Ring, in which case uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get the Under City Sewers here and see what we see. Street Wraith. I think that can go into the graveyard. Um, all right, I'm going to let this resolve. If they name the One Ring, then we can at least... Uh, like, Teferi is still open. They named Loin Reveal. Interesting. 
All right. Let's, uh, not, not too upset about that. Force of negation. Okay. Now hard cast stays is a play. If I were to draw like a dark ritual right now on my on this draw step here, that would be sick. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna force of will pitch force of negation. Yeah. And if they red blast, I'm gonna hard cast days. And if they then also have a spirit guide, then it's sad panda. Get what do we get here? I don't know. If I get day, uh, sort of spirit guided here, it's it's just a super tilt because then I would have been so much happier forcing, obviously. But as the force is now kind of a dead card, anyways, so I am taking a bit of a punt here. But it looks like we weren't punished. Blue card. Yep. Okay. So now we need we need to find another land, and then we're, things are kind of interesting. Three mana are being tapped. This is the way. Okay, so they didn't have the uh, the spirit guide before. I am gonna daze. I think they drew this magus. Yep. Ooh, punished. I mean, they were. Come on, land, 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 land. No. Okay. I'll take a brainstorm. Um, yeah, I guess the time for, uh, the time for Force of Will is probably over. Trinisphere. Yeah, Trinisphere resolves, and, um, we'll have to just factor that in. Did I keep in the Boseju? I forget. I kept it in. Okay, I think I'm going to fetch by you because I want to have Doomsday mana available. And I think it's more important to have green. Like, if I had Scrubland, I would be fetching Scrubland here because I'd rather have white than green, but I also want, yeah, one access to triple black. That is the the game we decided to play with this uh, with this deck here. Okay, so... I am going to cast the One Ring here and be defenses down. Nothing I can do on their turn because of Trinisphere. They have one card in hand. They already have their Pithing Needles. Unless they're playing multiples, I my ring should be safe here. But I guess now we get to see if they are a Painter deck or what. Okay, they make a dude. Off. I can't dismember him in time. He'll instantly grow into a 6-6. Six, six with whatever they tutor up here. Yeah, I think I need to draw like white mana and a plow or uh, I would probably even take like the Thassa just to like get the the, the pseudo surveil scry whatever and um, and a chump block. Okay, what's this? Ginger Brute. Can't be blocked. And sacrifice it to gain three life. Okay. It seems a little bit underwhelming. But maybe it has some synergies I'm not aware of. Okay. So this is a big turn for us. Force of Will. Ugh. Doomsday. Okay. So if I cast Doomsday now, I'll be at 7, which is lethal. I can't... Like, I, I can't, right now, as it is, wait a turn and then cast Doomsday because of the Trinisphere. I think I have to... I have to cast Ponder and hope to find a land. And if I do, and I do, um, then, yeah, let's try this. Then I can, next turn, I can, like, tap, cast Doomsday, then tap for the ring. Let's see if, I, let's see if I'm alive at that point. I don't know. I'm, they, they could maybe just kill me here. Three mana is being put into the pool here. Okay. All right, so they can exile, and it gains 
activated abilities, so they can exile the charb, uh, yeah, the uh, the engineer here, and then their creature, one of their creatures, gains the the abilities. Does that kill me? I don't think so. But what do I know? Um, so they put a plus one. So now they can attack me for nine. I'll be at six, then I'll be at four. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard playing against cards you're not used to playing against. But let's see. Okay, they just pass. And they're tapped out under their Trinisphere. So we win, question mark? So we draw Thassa Cavern. So we get to draw three cards. We can draw Edge. We'll be at two, so Street Wraith is off. Um, but hopefully they can't do anything underneath the Trinisphere anyways, so it won't matter. Uh, I guess Boseju, blah, 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 it doesn't matter, Days. So Boseju, Days on the bottom, then like uh, Cavern, Edge, Thassa. We're at two, we draw three cards. We play the cavern name Merfolk. Yes, we win. That's awesome. Four and zero. Oh. Let's uh, let's uh, jump into that trophy match. Kidoke on the play for round number five. Uh, yeah. This is always the the tricky part, right? We don't know what we're up against. We don't know what pile we're, we're building. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this and and yeah, hope it's not a force of will deck, or rather maybe I hope it is a force of will deck, but that they don't have force, because I think that's easier to build a pile that wins against. Opponent is on a mall to six on a mall to five. Wow. Okay. Okay. So if I pedal Dark Ritual Doom, say they force, then I'm on four cards and they're on three. So. Let's uh, let's try this. There's also a world where I ponder, look for a land, and then I have days back up. But if I miss on the land, then it's just absolutely catastrophic. So I think I would rather try this. Oops, it's a long pause. Wow, force. Ah, bummer. Okay, that cost me one fewer card than it could have, but that's still quite brutal. Underground Sea, and they pitch Brazen Borrower. Okay, Tundra. I can't complain. Let's, uh, let's cast a Ponder and try and rebuild here. And Tomb. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and say no to that. Wow! Talk about a mold of five, huh? Force, Days, Land, and Tomb. I guess, you know, they, drew, they had to draw a step as well. Okay, they get to... They get to find something here. Tracks, uh huh. Uh, yeah, this is a mulligan. Oh, not a mulligan, a shuffle, I mean. I guess, actually, the Lorien revealed is not terrible. But I don't know if there's going to be time for that. Goodness. So we know they have a land, and if their last card is reanimate, I'm going to lose my shit. I think I am going to take this daze and then like draw the Lorien next turn if they have like grief or something next turn i would rather have them not take my lorian i think okay so that was not the land they had before so so that is good good news okay hmm. i guess this is that like reanimator tempo like reanimator delver deck kind of thing Okay, they have under city sewers too, and they put a card on top. Yikes! Ooh. All right, I think I have to lure in heal here. I could brainstorm trying to get cute, and then if they interact with the brainstorm, I can then like daze. But uh, yeah, so their hand is still it's underground sea plus one card we don't know. Which is a ponder, okay. And they choose not to shuffle. Terrifying. Dark Ritual? Okay. Brainstorm. 
Wow, I feel like I feel like I'm the one who like discard it or like uh yeah, of course they it's not even anime dead. Oh, I have to find force of will here. We don't um I think we I think we think we think we we hide the two doomsday here. And we probably just lose. Let's see. What do they reveal here? Force of will, animate dead, grief, reanimate. So we're getting griefed now, I think. And they have a 7-7 a seven, seven life linker. And if they're last, there's only one blue card. Okay, so let's see here. They chose uh, grief, which is and they, they're pitching a Grief, so Grief was their, the last card in their hand. Uh, let me just see here. So, no island. The Underground Sea was from before. Choose Polluted Delta, Reanimate, and Tomb. Uh, troll, no. Uh, animate Dead, yes. And no Force of Will. Okay, so their hand are these four cards, I think. And now, if they're smart, they'll take my pedal on one of these two uh, griefs that they're getting. They take Brainstorm. Okay, and they're not taking anything else? Interesting. So I get to cast Doomsday, huh? Is that what you're telling me? So I'll be at eight no sorry nine oops i'll be a nine i'll take seven they have an entomb though so if they're playing like i guess they could like get, go for uh bow masters here and just kill me we'll see thassa don't have high hopes that this is going to work i'll be at two like i said so i can't cycle a street wraith so it'll have to it will have to be a brainstorm pile. That means they they are not allowed to take more than one card from me here. Um, okay, we draw the brainstorm, do the thing, and that's going to have to be it. So thoughts on the bottom, then the cycler LED consider brainstorm. I'm guessing this is a an orcish bowmasters deck, and they're gonna entomb reanimate the bowmasters. No. Interesting. There is the Delta. Like, we're just dead to Bowmasters, is, is what I'm saying here. And Tomb, yes. They know we have days, so they're not playing. There's an Archon, even. Yep, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Easy multi five and win from our opponent. Okay. So how do we go about this? We want, like, I think we board like it's a tempo matchup because it kind of is. It's just kind of scary that they're also like a reanimator deck. Um. Okay. Veil is great. Doomsday is sus. Uh, all cyclers can go. All the fast mana can go. We want the carpets too, I think. Um, we cut some number of Doomsday. Or maybe we even cut all number of Doomsday. If we do. Yeah, let's cut all the Doomsdays and we'll put in a Petal, I think. I think Petal is still decent. They are like four Wasteland deck. Yeah, don't have high hopes. This is like the toughest matchup, I think, uh, of the mainstream decks. Uh, we have to follow in this. No lands. Yeah, this plays. I will cut a ponder. And as much as I would like to surveil through the Undercity sewer, I'm also kind of interested in having access to both green and white mana. There's grief pitching bowmasters. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna veil. 
They'll have to. It'll cost them their their land draw or force here. Yeah, they force. Okay. So they're at three cards here. They pitch the force to that. They take plow. Okay. So they have reanimate probably. I mean, a grief. And then like they have two cards left. I have two cards left. That's not entirely unacceptable. Uh, yeah, let's ponder. The fact that they pitched the Bowmasters, I'm not sure if that's just because it's their, their only black card. Okay, I kind of want all of these cards. Um, let's, let's put Veil on top here. There is a world where I'm supposed to put, I think, just the, the land on top. And if they grief me or Thoughtseize, then it's whatever. Okay. Maybe we can get lucky and snipe them with a cantrip here, like if they cantrip. I am going to go for the, the next card down if nothing happens. It's a land. I kind of wouldn't hate that. Okay. If they cantrip, we can shoot the grief, which would be great. But they don't need to cantrip, I guess. This also the thing here. Sure, and tomb. Just get a track set, fuck me. Yeah, seems about right. Okay, they are passing. Ugh, come on. Some action, please. I think they're just missing a land to go animate dead. Okay. Some payoff at last. And they do this before combat, much to our chagrin. Ooh, force pitch force. So they can't stop this veil now, because they have one card in hand. So that's good. They can still just hit, like, animate dead. And, um, or, like, reanimate, I mean. And then, like, if they have land reanimate, they just get Atraxa here, and we're sort of shit out of luck. This does cost them their grief. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to try not to complain. <laughs> wow, they concede. Sick. Very, very awesome. I feel very lucky. Okay, so now the, the, the sort of Herculean task will be to win on the draw versus this deck. We saw that they can just easily multiply and, and beat us, so... Uh, do we change anything here? They they didn't see they didn't surgical us they didn't see very much for our deck they they have to still respect Doomsday. Um, so I think um I think this is fine. Oh, I don't know, huh? This feels very risky. If they discard our Lorien revealed, all right. Brainstorm on turn one. So they must have a troll. I don't know if they're looking for, like, grief here. Why not ever do anything else? Oh, man, this this deck is, is really, really nasty. They pitched the Bowmasters here. They probably take Lorien. Yeah, I, I would do that too, I think. And then we just have to see if we... I was going to say get lucky and draw land, but probably, like, the one other land in the deck we... We're kind of upset to draw here. Okay, I'm going to name... I'm actually going to name Warrior here, because that is what uh, what uh, Triumph is. And if we get lucky, I think Triumph is, is, is a pretty sick card here. Yeah. And Tomb to shuffle their deck. And do they have the reanimate? Oh, no, blue mana. That's not reanimate. Just aggro brainstorming here. Well, we need to get lucky and draw a land. We don't. Veil of Summer, okay, yeah. I mean, that's not the worst. But we are powerless to stop them here if they just put, like, an animation spell on the stack. Ponder. Okay. I'm going to Veil in response to whatever they do here if it involves animating something, just to hope to spike a Force of Will, I think. They do not shuffle. Okay, but I mean, they... 
why are they passing here? Um, wow, that was lucky. Okay, I'm going to ponder here. And if they have Bowmasters, I'm pretty well set up to fight that. Uh, no, I think this is a shuffle. The dismember is interesting, but ultimately I don't think it's good enough. Dark Ritual, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, let's pass here. Maybe they found a Wasteland, and that's why they decided to keep the Ponder. I could see Wasteland being pretty tempting here. Okay, they're just passing? Weird. Triumph, huh? How about yes? How about through the cavern? Oh, baby. He's still my heart. Woohoo! Well, I mean, we'll see. This isn't... Like, this doesn't beat an Atraxa, but, uh, but yeah. Bowmasters. Yeah, I think that's okay. We have the Veil if we ever, like, want to draw some cards with Bowmasters in play. I think right now, like, Veil is more important to stop them, like, doing, like, if I can daze something or, I don't know. No good attacks, huh? Undercity Sewers, I like that. Um, I think I'm actually going to play that in right now. The One Ring would be a pretty interesting... Ooh, a Tundra is also not bad. Uh, Batato. Let's attack here. A Chump, I go to 24. A ponder? Okay, that means the double days hand we have going on is it's a little bit better than it was before. They don't shuffle, okay. Okay, so Tundra is in. I think I'm going to attack with St. Catherine here. And then I think I'm going to play Teferi. And um, it remains to be seen what happens now, okay. A force do I veil here? Veil um Veil gets them a blocker. Veil gets them a blocker and means I can't even like I can't minus to ferry profitably. Um So what's the play here? I think I actually just let this happen. Wasteland, okay. Enemy dead on Atraxa. That is naughty. I'm gonna veil in response. Oh, I spiked the force. That is just insanely lucky. Yes, I will let you ping me, or rather, not me. You have to ping yourself. And um, I think the play is the brainstorm. Actually, wow. Okay, I mean, better lucky than good, and all that. It's actually a bit funny. If I were to draw another Catherine here, I could cast her uncounterably. Another Teferi. Um, okay, so let's attack here. I suppose I could have... No, I, I was going to say I could have bounced the, the army, but then uh, Bowmasters just pings. Um, I think we just play this as it is, and plus it. So if we plus him, then if they do animate their uh, Atraxa, we can bounce her next turn. Unless they ha also have, like, another Bowmasters. A cycle troll, sure. They surveil, and they put a troll, another troll, into their graveyard. You, you don't attack a Teferi, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. Now this is happening, and I have quite a few options here. I think I probably start out by... Um, by just drawing uh, three. 
Hmm, that was a bit disappointing. Okay, I'm going to cast Brainstorm here. I would like to draw land. Or Bowmasters that I don't really think I can profitably cast right now. Okay, let's... um. Let's put Carpet and Bowmasters on top here. I mean, we could cast Bowmasters right now, but then it just dies to their Bowmasters. All right. We're at six. What's this? Four mana. Bowmasters. Yes, you have Bowmasters. Bowmasters ping to fairy, I'm assuming. And you pass, right? And now I have Bowmasters. Kill your Bowmasters. Attack for five. They block. I think I ponder like to find force of will here if possible although the um the two days is not so much but the veil feels like i'm pretty well set up here ponder yep you may take one damage yes we got it we got it oh my all right that was super sweet. I um, feel very lucky to have uh, to have actually <laughs> trophied on the first uh, go with this. Um, I'm not gonna be too boastful or too cocky about how well Triumph did. It did end up just taking game three here versus the blue black reanimator tempo deck. We did need to get very lucky with one spike on that force of will off the veil and if that doesn't come we lose uh they just get to resolve their atraxa and i don't think there's a way back for us there um but we did and you know you're allowed to be lucky you're allowed to play to your outs and all that stuff um so i think triumph is certainly um i'm just trying to work out here like we got to miracle her through the cavern. That felt so <laughs> bloody sick. Um, and obviously that means she cost us two mana on that turn. And I don't, I can't remember, but I don't know if I would have been able to cast uh, uh, Shouldred. Just trying to work out if Shouldred would have like gotten us uh, like the win as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. This, this was super fun, and I, I love this deck. I love the... I, I know I, I had some, some comments on, like, I know some people really, really don't like Teferi, don't like the fire design, and, you know, that's totally fair. There's a lot to be said about that. Um, but I certainly think, like, playing a deck that can both sort of put Doomsday on the sack on turn one and can also, like, grind like no one else. Well, not like no one else, but you know what I mean. That is very, very appealing. All right. Hope you have a good time out there. Hope you are uh, doing well. And thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with some more Legacy. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>